Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt from MechaPyte.com, and really quick today, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can actually make a Mac OS X Lion recovery disk. So basically, when you bought your Mac, chances are you did get the Snow Leopard DVD or the Leopard DVD, depending on when you bought it. And so what that allows you to do is if your computer is experiencing any problems, or if you just want to go ahead and perform a quick, clean install, all you have to do is go ahead and insert that on startup, and you have options to go ahead and reinstall the operating system. So with Snow or with uh, Mac OS X Lion, it's download only, so you don't have that option. And uh, I don't know if I'm old-fashioned, but I do like having that extra security of um, being able to actually do something if my computer stops working. So really quick today, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can actually create a uh, recovery disk from that download that you downloaded from the Mac App Store. So you see, I do have it downloaded, and for some reason, it says I already have it installed. I don't know why. Um, but I did I did copy the whole folder over to my desktop PC. Um, there's uh, install Mac OS X line. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is the thing that I just did and show package contents. And from here, you want to double click on contents. So you open that up and then you then click on shared support and you'll see that install ESD.DMG. And you want to go ahead and copy that to the desktop. And it might take a while because it is um, a little over three and a half gigabytes. So I already have that done, it's right there. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do to go ahead and continue is go up to Spotlight and search for Disk Utility. And you can also find this in the regular utilities down here. Okay, it decided not to work, um, but you can you can find it in there. So the first thing um, you wanna do in here is just go ahead and click Burn. And from here, you just select Install ESD.DMG and click Burn. And when doing this, I forgot to say, make sure you have a at least four gigabyte um, DVD. You can use a dual layer as well, but it's not necessary. Um, but but just make sure you do have that in, because otherwise it's not going to work. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and also explain to you guys how you can install it on a flash drive to get a little bit better performance. Um, but let's let's do uh, let's do maximum. Let's do eight, because I'm going to use a flash drive anyway, probably. All right, so let's burn. And this will take a while, I'm not gonna lie. So it, it, um, it's burning four gigabytes. So while your computer is doing this, you can go ahead and leave and uh, come back later. All right, so I just came back after about an hour and uh, it actually said it failed, but then I put the DVD back in and it looks like everything's working just fine. So there I have my Mac OS X line install DVD. So now really quick, I'm just going to eject that and show you how you can install it on a flash drive. So you want to make sure your flash drive is at least four gigabytes because that's the amount of space it takes up. Um, but some of them can be a bit tricky because usable space is actually like maybe 3.7. And there's my cat jumping on my window. Um, but uh, like my eight gigabyte flash drive actually only has 7.7 .7 gigabytes of usable memory. So you want to be you want to be. Uh, safe and uh, make sure your flash drive actually has enough memory and just to be on the really safe side you can just go ahead and get one one size bigger so we're going to be going back into disk utility so let's find that and over here on the left you want to go ahead and click on your flash drive so you see that i do have mine actually uh, formatted already it's just a regular flash drive for data but what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to go um, press restore and so for the source um, you're gonna have to select an image and that's where we go ahead and select the install ESD on the desktop so we'll go ahead and open that and then as the destination just go ahead and drag this or sorry wrong one drag the lower one in there for the destination and if I can get it sorry I got to do that again drag this in here and so um, by default it will erase the destination and you will have to do that um, just otherwise there's a possibility that you won't have enough space so we're going to go ahead and restore and yes we want to erase the contents and install and uh, the reason you'd want to go ahead and with go ahead with a flash drive is because um, it's probably it's it's definitely a little bit quicker to go ahead and actually uh, copy it over there and also when you're installing you know you will notice um, uh, you will definitely notice a difference when it's in um, install times. So it's not going to be as good as just downloading it from the Mac App Store and doing that because that way it's located on your hard drive itself. So it's 
probably the fastest speed possible that you have. Um, but this allows you to go ahead and actually do clean installs of Lion. Whereas uh, right now, if you download it from the Mac App Store, you'd have to do a clean install of Snow Leopard, download Mac OS X Lion, and then actually go ahead and install that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here while it, while it copies over. Alright guys, so we just finished installing on the flash drive too, and you can now see that over on the right where my flash drive was, I now have that um, Mac OS X install uh, disk. So just opening it up, you can see that uh, here's just like you'd be inserting a uh, regular DVD, you have the option to install and everything, so that's pretty cool. And so if you're eager to go ahead and install, you can go ahead and do that. I know. Um, I have heard from some people that you are unable to do this after you have installed Mac OS X Lion, so um, just keep um, stay aware of that when you actually go ahead before. Uh, make sure you do a backup before you go ahead and install as well, because I have heard some people do not like it at all. And uh, I did sort of have that experience when testing a developer build. Um, but that's it guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.